Expression Engine is by its very nature one of the most secure content management systems on the market today. With that though, still comes a few things that we can do in order to make sure that our EE install is very, very secure. And one of the key things that we can do is to move our system directory above web root. Now, if you're not very technical, that may sound like absolute magic, but we're gonna walk through it step by step to see what we need to do to make our Expression Engine installation even more secure. So with that said, let's build. So in general, when you look at the way that Expression Engine is set up, this is probably what you see. You have your, um, your system directory, your themes directory, your admin PHP, and your index.php files. All are kind of sitting in one directory, which makes it really easy to get started. However, when all of this is sitting on a server and your website is pointing toward this folder saying, look here for content, that may expose some of those folders that you don't want exposed to web users or even worse hackers for example if i'm pointed toward this folder and i wanted to say well i'm just going to try and look inside the system folder by putting system up here in the url all of a sudden i'm in my admin folder now granted i'm logged in but still it makes it way too easy for people to get into places that they should not be. So what we're gonna do is we're going to move some of these files around according to one of the post-installation best practices that Expression Engine has defined in order to make sure that our EE install is very, very secure. Now, if you're doing this on shared hosting or some other hosting platform and you may have questions, you may need to reach out to your service provider to say, hey, we're pointing toward this folder, but now we need to point toward this folder. Um, in which case, feel free to drop into the Expression Engine Slack. There are a whole bunch of people who have done this before who are ready to help you at a moment's notice. So, but we're gonna take a look at the docs here. Um, so we need to open our index at PHP and admin PHP and update the system paths here. So this is what our folder structure looks like now. We have our public HTML, admin.php, index.php, and our folders here. And this is what our system path uh, looks like inside of our index.php. Let me grab our code and close over some of this. And we'll look at our index.php. We can see our system path basically says, look in this directory slash system, which is right here which works out just fine. However, when we're gonna move this around, we're gonna see that some of this is going to break pretty quick for us. Uh, and that's okay, we're gonna break it and then we're gonna fix it. So the first thing we'll do in our folders here, make this bigger, yeah, let's make this nice and big so you can see it. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a new folder and we're going to call it public. There we go. And the first thing we're going to do is drop these files in there. So we're going to move in our system. No, we're going to keep our system folder here. We want our system folder to be outside of our public. If we're telling our web server to look at our public folder, then it can only see what's in that folder. Your index, your PHP files will still be able to say, hey, I can look anywhere on the server but those web users who are looking in your public folder will only be able to look in there. So we're gonna move in our themes folder. You wanna move in anything that needs to be publicly accessible. So our CSS folder, because we wanna make sure we can access that. Um, our images, oops, did that move in the right place? I, move, I don't know where I moved that. Oops, that's why. There we go, I moved too quick. All right, now we're good. And we're gonna move in our index and admin files. Great. So now when I go back to my homepage and refresh, 
I see that our system folder path doesn't appear to be set correctly. So right now my server is looking at that public folder and looking at that index.php file, but it's saying, it's throwing an expression engine error saying that this folder no longer exists because it's looking for, um, let me close that and open the updated one. So I'm in our public folder index. So right now it's saying look in this directory, which is our public directory slash system, but that doesn't exist anymore. It needs to go outside into our system directory. So for our purposes, I need to tell it to look outside, which for the system I'm on is two dots system. And so when I do that, now I've got my site back. All right, so when we look at our admin.php, we see we get the same errors. So we're gonna go back into our code and do the same thing for admin.php and refresh the page. And now we have EE up and running, working good in the back end. You'll see too that we've got a warning that says one or more core files have been altered. This is a security measure that Expression Engine puts into place to say, hold on, something major has changed. So we're just gonna accept that change. And we are back up and run, oh, back up and running. What did I do to break? Oh, let's our, our second dot back in. There we go, and our site's back up and working. So like I said, it can be a little bit tricky. There are great instructions that are set up here um, in the docs. And then if you run into any trouble at all, you should talk to your service provider who is hosting your server um, or jump on the Expression Engine Slack and ask question in there. This is a really important step that every user should take on their site to make sure that their Expression Engine setup is installed and secure. Oh, hey, and just to test our security, let's try our system trick again. So if I go to system, boom. Now we get the page we requested was not found. It's gonna tell me I'm 404ing, uh, which makes it, which shows us that we are a little bit better off. Okay, one more important thing that I missed here uh, that I need to do. Once we move our system directory out of the web root is we need to take a look at our file upload directories. Now, when we go to our files, we take a look and we see that all of our blog stuff is gone. And it's not really gone, it's that we have to adjust our upload directories. So if I go here to our upload directories, whoops, let me go to the pencil to edit. Oh wait, actually, let's go back there because you can see it. So uh, if I click on blog images, you say cannot find the directory and it tells the old directory that we were looking at. So I need to go to the settings here by editing. And if I just, I'm gonna go in and out of these folders, you can see here, it tells me my upload path is either invalid or not writable. And that's because we've moved our path. So if I change this to public slash images, now all good there. Let's go back and take a look at our files and our files are back. So I hope this gives us a good picture of a little bit of a way to make EE more secure and we'll see you in the next one.